Alright guys, Mr. G, uh, back with another Darkest Dungeons, and today we are putting on our big boy pants, and we are going into a champion dungeon. Intentionally this time. So, um, we're gonna start with the old hag here in the wield, and we are gonna take classic mark party on this one. So we've got the bounty hunter with uh, damage on melee and two mark targets, because we're running a mark party. And I've got these really lame trinkets on the uh, Houndmaster guy, but we're trying to stack beast damage on him and uh, just throw on some dodge there, so nothing fancy. Uh, healing and debuffs on the Occultist, and then Arbalist are same with uh, rank 4 damage buffs on that one. So first one of these for me, these guys are level 6, and they've got most of the we all the weapon upgrades and almost all the armor upgrades and then most of the skills are just about maxed out so hopefully this doesn't end in total failure um so we'll just have to find out and am i oh my goodness guys i'm broke all right we're gonna, we're gonna sell some lame old trinkets here let's unload some of these and get some extra cash here all right do not want to go into this dungeon uh, short on goodies. So let's see. Um, what do we need for this one? We're going into the wheel. Lots of shovels. Don't be short on those. Okay, what else do we need? One of those. A couple of these. Hopefully I remember to use the Scooby Snacks this time. And let's call that... Let's call that good. Let's do that. As time wore on, her wild policy of self-experimentation grew intolerable. Oh, here we go. She three of the story. She of strange fungi, herbs, and concoctions. Intent on gaining some insight into the horror we both knew to be growing beneath us. Yes. The change in her was she appalling was and no cook. longer able to stomach it. I sent her to live in the wheel where her James wildness Cochran. would be welcomed. So off we go to defeat this boss for the third time. Uh, as a lot of you guys said on the on the Reddit and the, the Steam, like, the only yeah. boss that counts is the champion. There's one, a so. form both well, wretched and malevolent. Hopefully, uh, this will be the one. This will be our first proper uh, champion boss, other than the Wolf. So looking at this dungeon, we're gonna just go right here. So off we go. And right away, we're gonna run into Nature the thorny herself. thicket. So glad, uh, glad we went with four shovels. Corruption. Malformed um, with misintent. Am I happy with these guys where they're at? The skills that they've got on. We want to be running hex. I'm gonna save that for the boss. Let's give you a little bit of the stabby right there, pal. And onwards. Nope, trap. Wake up. Everybody's got a hundred percent here in the front. All right, how many? You hit that one up. Do we want to get some extra? Let's just not get any more negative quirks today. Don't have my curio guy pulled up. To be honest, it's one of the only things I've actually looked up is uh, just how to interact with the curios. Felt like that wasn't a cheat. Otherwise, we been going into all the bosses fairly blind, except for all the tips you guys give me after every time I beat one. You're like, next time try this. So we've got pretty much everybody here can hit in the back row. Nothing must be left untouched. All right, we're lucky there. Nothing of interest. Okay. Here we go. Battle. All right, I hate these uh, fungal dudes. Their protection level is ridiculous. And I got two crits the in the first attack. Well, that's why we're in the, uh, we're in the champion dungeon here. Not in the easy peasy one anymore. All right. Now let's throw down some marks, huh? Get that going. Which I took mark off this guy. What was I thinking? Um, would have been handy. These guys are all fairly resistant to bleed damage, so I don't know what I'm doing with that one. But we have bonus damage versus beasts. Those don't count as beasts. You're kidding me, right? Oh, that's lame. Done these things? Really? Well, oh. get some bleeds on here. Yeah, Master maybe not my best choice on that one. 
Avengers debuff. Oh, let's get what's her name in the back here. Right, no, I meant well, I'm not doing not doing great so far, guys. Eleven damage already. That is bad news for him. Oh my goodness, that's why these are called champion dungeons though. We're gonna need Fred to really pony up with some proper healing here. Um, so just to give you a bonus to healing here since our bounty hunter is more than half dead. And uh, right into the first battle here. Haven't even eliminated anybody. We're off to an inauspicious start, folks. Sticking with the bounty hunter, at least he would get the human damage bonus versus the hag here. Alright, there we go. Getting that marked bonus damage. Let's finish this dude off if possible. It's an Eldritch, right? So we get the bonus of the occult. That's destroy them. Finish off what's her name in the back. Things are looking better. A dizzy embrace. Okay. Um Every, everything's just going for MC here, and he's almost dead. Occultist, I need you to have a turn now. Alright, oh, man, can we stun this thing? Probably not. Let's, let's try, though, because I really uh, don't want him killing my bounty hunter off. In the first battle, jeez, guys. Okay. So, so apparently our occultist isn't going to move anytime time in the next three rounds. We're going to do healing with the Arbalister. Finally. Okay, give us a crit here. Now. There we go. 30 points. Really would like it if no one went to death's door on the first battle. Would be nice. Um, bother marking this thing or just, just attack it. Let's mark it. Oh, what's her name? Can't shoot it though. It's in the front row. Okay, maybe a little bit of a waste there. At least our Houndmaster did get some bleed on that. So I'm starting to think maybe I didn't spend enough time thinking about the party choices that I took here. This would have been better for the Warrens, probably, but it's what it is now. Alright, let's finish off these angry mushrooms, turn them into fertilizer, and wrap up. This thing's a beast, right? No, it's human? How is that thing human? Eldritch. I went into this thinking I was going to be fighting a bunch of beasts, so I brought the old Hound Master. Once again, still... Oh my god, the crits really they do in the Champion Dungeon. Donculus, 27. It's just bad news bears for our bounty hunter here. And this is the first battle, and I'm already looking at this as well. How are we going to get through this? Uh, Vessel may have been more useful than our occultist here. Not able to keep up with healing. Do I have anti venom? No. Well, that is just no good. Let's have a little healing on here. Yeah, we're just gonna get blighted into the ground unless I heal the fix. That thing is still alive. So, the degree of difficulty in uh, champion dungeons versus veteran dungeons is definitely a step up. Confidence surges Especially if they're going the back into easy dungeons. It's like, how is this even hard at one point? And right now, here I am in champion mode. Just barely holding on to my pants. Against some uh, mushrooms. Oh, he's getting blighted for bad points. For eight. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're gonna have to maybe turn around and say, this isn't happening. We are not pulling this off. Okay, we are down to one little fungal thingy. What's it? Finish it off, and everyone in my party is half dead. And we have no anti. I what was I thinking for the wield? Well, this may be another how to fail a champion dungeon. Just like I gave you guys how to fail a veteran dungeon, I'm giving you how to fail. It's a champion dungeon, and I'm doing a really good job of that so far. And we are two rooms in. in. The first room had no enemies. So, onwards. Wow. I really like this character and I really don't want her to die. 
Oh my word. Do I? She is really at death's door already. Okay. Can I milk one more fight out of this? Just by eating all my food here. It's maybe not a good move. We may be retreating from our next fight here, but we'll just see how we can do. Where we'll camp if we can. If I can survive a battle, we'll camp early. Some dogs. Can we deal with some measly rabid dogs in champion level? Target our weakest characters? Sure are. He's bleeding. This is not good. Yep, go for him again. Sure. Oh my word. Oh, this is bad. Not to say anyone beat this game. Alright, let's get all these dogs bleeding. Let's hit you guys back with the same medicine. Alright, everyone resisted. He's getting nailed out and bleeding. Everyone in here is bleeding to death. Well, okay, if we heal Punster, she can maybe heal you. So, we stop the bleeding. Alright, we got really lucky with 40 points of healing on this one, okay. Alright, gonna chop one of these guys. Which doesn't happen so often in the Champion Dungeon. We're just throwing healing on everybody we can here. So the situation is dire. So it's nice that her little bit of heal does do a bonus. So just, oh my god, death star. A hand breaks yeah, from becoming unwound. Fred Jr.'s resolve is tested, and of course he opts to be masochistic. Oh gosh. I really not want to grind up another occultist if I don't have to. Finish off one of these guys. That one's not bleeding, so as the fiend falls, a faint hope. Doing so much wrong on this one. If, you know, the more I play this game, the more I realize I'm really terrible at it. And then you guys come and give me really good builds and skills, and I'm like, I didn't think of that. It makes total sense. It'd be really nice if our occultist could move. Yes, please. Okay. Let's go for a crit, buddy. 29. All right. We're back in the game if we can keep from bleeding to death and get our bounty hunter back in here. Alright. I think we got some of those bonus heals. Now our Houndmaster is being ignored. At least our occultist went to death's door, so all this damage for him and accuracy is not the end of the world. Slowly, gently. And I guess that's why they this call this champion dungeons and not taken. easy peasy lemon squeeze of death. Fair amount of stun resist, but maybe we can stun this one. You know what? Let's just kill it. Their formation this battle is broken. For long. Maintain the offensive. Now I do need to get some healing out. A Vestal would have been nice. Why did I opt for the occultist on this one? Oh, because he can mark. Okay. Well, he's got bonus to healing, so let's synergize up our skills here. Yeah. I did not bring enough bandages. Well, she can't bandage herself. We can do a little bit of healing on the Houndmaster, I guess. Better than nothing. And can we finish off the puppers? We can. Give them no oh. Is that looking great? Maybe we can camp. It's too early to camp. Or one, two, three rooms from the boss. No, I'm thinking a camp might not be a bad idea. Just, we got stressed out folks here. Things are looking a little rough. Let's... Let's do that. A moment some of food respite. in our bellies. A chance Heal to up. Steal oneself against Camp up. Horrors. Okay. What are we gonna do? Um, I do like the marching plan bonus. I really don't want to be nighttime ambushed, so... That's... What else can we do here? Um, who has healing skills? This guy does. Wound care. Heal 15%. Yeah, let's heal you up here. All right. And what else can we get done with? Can we do... Did I just accidentally... No, 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 no. I just accidentally used a skill I didn't want to use. All right. Should have hit the vehicle as well. Oops. Classic, Mr. G. Clicking too fast. I've got, you know, I've got... Lit. The path a five-year-old running around. We require and, uh, only the strength to follow it. And my one-year-old snoozing, so I'm always in a rush. 
Hopefully I remember to do my Scooby Snacks for this one at least when I get to the boss. Alright, we've got one, two, three rooms to go. Maybe we'll just get really, really lucky on this. Oh, we need to slap some bandages. Waiting to be spent. Our puppy master here. Mr. Scooby Snacks. Alright, did we bring enough Nature shovels? Herself. We did. A victim to the spreading oh, corruption. Dun, dun, dun. Malformed. There is the magic room. Do we, do we pass it? Oh, I passed it. Wasn't paying attention, guys. Let's take some stress dings as we walk backwards. Okay. We get in there. All right. We actually have a key for once, which is rare. I'm gonna catch this out now, just in case. Awarded Look at that. Brave and Dismiss head. Alike. We can make him carry around his very own head. Barristan's head. Um, that's funny. Bonus to damage. 25% is no joke. Alright, cool beans. We'll, we'll take that. Someone said on the Reddit, I think, that that's a, that's a meme. We make him carry around his own head. I like that this game uh, can make fun of itself. What is life if, if you can't make fun of yourself a little bit? All right, do we have enough torches? Well, let's fire up some light here. Is struck. Let's a hope we all don't die in this battle, born. guys. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Empty room. And, uh... Room battle with curio. Room battle with treasure. And then two traps. And each one of these has a... Oh, we will take treasure over curio if we're given a choice. Oh, you're just gonna rob that? Oh, help yourself. Just like Packs teaching fifth graders, like, don't touch that, and of course, they just have to touch everything. Um, do -do -do -do. As the light our occultist is just gonna lose his business. And he, as we all know, it's, it's always the clear. best when your healer decides to just go rogue. And, uh, alright, well, stun resist and bleed resist. Why did I bring these guys? Um, what was my. What was I thinking? Alright, this guy at least gets damage versus beast, right? This thing doesn't count as a beast. And he gets stunned? I wasn't even trying to stun. I wanted to attack that thing. Well, let's debuff this thing. Let's hope that works. Okay. Let's look at this just humans hanging out with these ridiculously creepy undead ghoulish creatures. Like, oh, we're friends now. I'm a cultist, so, you know. We all get along fine, and I'm out of bandages. We're in bad shape. Well, it's a mark party. It's probably about time I do some marks with my guys. 48, that is just lovely. Right home to mom about that one. Good job, punster. Slap some healing on our bounty hunter here. Um, hello, bounty hunter. All right, let's finish this thing off with this attack. Oh, dodge. Do we need to debuff this guy's... Dodgy dodge, alright. Please finish that thing off. Oh, right alone does not dissuade the okay. sharpened blade. Let's see. Can't snipe you. We can mark you though. Can't we? Can we mark we can't mark the guy in the front row? You're kidding me. That's terrible. Okay, so funny story, my son just got uh, bug bite on his foot and I just put this is Thailand, I put like tiger balm on his foot, right? To uh, sort that out. Uh, and then I just itched my eye because I wasn't thinking. Um, and so now my left eye is burning like fire, but we really don't want to have to stop and start this again for like the fourth time today. It's my fourth time I've had to pause recording and stop with some friends and visiting, and I'm just like, I'm hiding, I'm avoiding the company right now, and I don't feel like being social. So my wife's friend is just pretending to like be productive upstairs for a few minutes, and uh, let's see if I can survive Push on to uh, the, the darkest dungeon here with one eye. Oh, uh, yeah. It'd be like if you put Icy Hot in your eye. This is what I'm experiencing right now. So, uh, if I have to the recording, like, all of a sudden, like, skip scenes like I edited it. That's probably why I was running off, because <laughs> my eye. Okay, it's not that bad right now. It's just, it's watery. A little, a little blinking. It'll be just fine. Da -da -da, mark that guy. Once nobody needs healing, we can do ceiling spaghetti. Not sure if I like ceiling spaghetti or space tentacles better. Uh, can we put no bleed on anybody? Well, we got one guy with our hound master. We need bleed bonuses. Trinkets for this dude. 
You can't mark us. We only mark you. No fair. All right, come on. Come on, guys. Let's get this done. And we're getting blighted. I should have brought, like, a Plague Doctor and a Grave Robber instead of these guys. Uh, instead of some of these guys. But you know what? We're just going to keep trucking. Because uh, every, every battle that you don't lose anybody on uh, in this game is a win. And we're going to come back with, with more, uh, more heirlooms. You know, nobody dies. We can deal with guys going back and being stressed out. That's okay. I do not want to lose any of these guys, though, if I have the choice, so as long as we can retreat, don't have anyone too super dead here, it'll be alright. Okay, I can see out of my left eye again, so maybe I'll start playing a little bit better now. Alright, now that I can see, I can see that some of us are half dead here, which is not great. I can kill one of these guys, I can do some healing, minor healing. No, let's kill one of these baddies. This guy it is, I guess, because he wasn't going to die from bleeding or blighting, so I to finish him off. Okay. None of these count as beasts, which seems lame to me. They're like fungal beasts. They're not eldritch humans, are they? Apparently they are. They're humans turned into mushrooms by the evil. No, I don't know. don't know what I'm talking about. Chop, chop, chop. All right, let's finish this battle, and then I need to go back to being a, being a good husband and human being here, instead of what I'm doing right now, which is avoiding people. Um, which is one of my main skills. Anybody else like avoiding people? I don't know this guy. He's like, where should I travel in Thailand? Um, I'll find somewhere for you to go visit. Okay, um, healing buff. I don't want to lose... Well, that's not what I told you to do. You, you want the pain? No, that's... <sighs> can't do anything with this guy. So our affliction is uh, causing us some no fun there. It's refusing healing. Not what you want to happen to your our healer. Because if he dies, uh, this party's going to go south in a real hurry. It's the occultist. He can do some bonus eldritch damage here. As now you decide to do a crit for 18. Reads and tons of pretty much dead. Thanks, RNG. Okay, to be fair, uh, human error is what's screwing me up the most right now. So I'm just playing poorly. What are you gonna do? I really love if my occultist... Oh, I had him stab a moment ago, didn't I? Instead of heal. What was I thinking? Apparently I wasn't. Alright, we need to try and milk one more round out of this, see if we can get at least one bout of good healing from the old occultist in here. Alright, can't stun from here. Heal yourself, buddy. We just we're stalling for time here. I know that if I stall too long, we will have some reinforcements in. Ruining my day. Ha ah, ha ha! You refuse. Refuse healing. Great. That's just bad news. For us. Six. In the realm of. You're really gonna die here, occultist. Unless I can get you to to heal, we're gonna have to. Why are we refusing? Oh, we're in the wrong. Oh my god. That's a screw up on my part. Big time to realize that. Blow to body oh my God. Can I just get one good heal? He's gonna hit death's door here in a minute. And then we're gonna be out of here. It's done this thing. Stun it. Stun it. Your veins are on fire, I know. I'm playing really poorly here. I'm out of camping, I got... He's a death door. Can he at least get a move? We will save you. Um, oh, nope, he can't even. <laughs> Great. What? So our affliction from this guy is uh, just totally ruining our day. And he's he's going to die. He's going to have to retreat from this dungeon. And we're going to get a do-over. So we're going to call this one... Call this one a day. See what we can grab. Uh, we're not going to win the hag here with an occultist who is afflicted, refusing to heal, and at death's door. It's better to just do this one again than have to grind all the levels back with this guy. So we are abandoning this one, and that'll be Mr. G's how not to win a champion dungeon. Um, please let me know who you guys like for the wield and of you'd like to bring. And uh, as always, let me know 
uh, everything I did wrong in the comments, which I'm sure was quite a bit. So I'm going to stop bugging you guys. We'll give it another go. Uh, now for this one, uh, we'll try it again soon. That's Mr. G out on this one, guys. Thanks for watching.